Okay, hello, this is Marvin Huddleston. Uh, this little video is going to be a little introduction to the GoPower 120 watt portable solar kit, uh, gpelectric.com. This is a little suitcase, 120 watt setup. This is uh, the front, of course. We are very close to shade, so. Um, I put this up so you can see the case. It's got a nice little case to keep it in. I'm going to move that back. And um, let me move this back over here. Okay, had a little trouble figuring some things out because I've never done solar before. Here's what we're getting right now on the controller. I'm drawing 13.5 volts off of the solar. And... This, I believe I bought a 30, I believe it was a maybe 30 foot extension. So this runs, the cable runs this way over to here. And then the rest of this cable goes back under and over to the other side of the casita. Let's go over and look at that. And it plugs in uh, right here. And notice this right here stupid mosquito i'm in florida um this is how you connect it um you get these alligator clips with this set up and you get terminal clips for your battery if you want to connect it to a battery permanent and i think i bought this extra now when we got our casita, they told us this was wiring was strictly for ZAMP and that anything else would require an adapter. So I spent 30, 45 minutes trying to figure out why this adapter was not working. Um, I was looking at the adapter. Um, I'm looking at the adapter, I'm taking my meter to it and I had to work. What I was expecting was the power coming in here would be switched over to here and vice versa to reverse the polarity because that's what uh, Casita told me had to be done. I was told anything other than ZAMP had to have an adapter. Well, this adapter doesn't do nothing. It just passes the voltage through. So I finally figured it out that uh, by doing a lot of metering that this was wired exactly like the Casita was wired right here. So we went ahead and plugged it up and I connected everything and, I, and you saw what I got on the voltage. Now, um, one thing's nice about this system is that you can add um, more solar panels to get more voltage. They've got a 200 watt panel that can be added to this. Um, and you would then have a total of 100, see, 320 volts. So you could have like these here and another another set back here connected to it. Um, and I'm guessing there's an adapter or something that you would have to use. But anyway, this is my first time to ever mess with solar. Now look at this, I got a good sunlight. I've got 13.9 volts uh, coming off this controller. One thing I wish I had and I want to do eventually is have a controller like this inside the casita. Um, so that you don't have to walk out here to see this directly to to figure out how much you're putting into your battery. So um, our battery compartment on the Casita is on, let me think for a minute, right here. Uh, that's the battery hatch. So anyway, uh, from what I can see, it's doing its job. Um, I checked the inside voltage earlier and I had uh, less voltage coming in. Uh, let's go back in here um, and look at the 13.23 uh, is my what I'm drawing from the battery. So uh, so far, it appears to be doing its job. We're just, uh, we're, we're running AC. Um, I just hooked this up because this was a good time as any to try 
the Zamp solder and see what it would do. Um, I do recommend it. What I've come to conclude is but you would need to mic this yourself and verify the Zamp solar power uh, system that you buy costs three or four hundred dollars more than this Go Power. And they apparently are wired exactly alike, unlike what I was led to believe. Anyway, this is Marvin Huddleston um, with uh, We're, We're Here. Uh, got our casita hooked up uh, in a backyard to keep everything working. So, and this is just a test. I'm not leaving it on this system. I'm leaving it on for a little while. This is just a test. This is the first time I've ever had the casita running strictly off DC. So, uh, DC and solar. Uh, running on DC for a little while while I was trying to get the solar all figured out and then... Uh, we hooked up the solar. Anyway, I do I do recommend this is my first. We've had this a, probably a year. Um, it was one of the two most expensive accessories we bought. We have a Westinghouse generator, 25. Um, anyway, I forget the number on it. Anyway, so we bought the Westinghouse general generator instead of the... Um, my mind went blank. Instead of the uh, Honda, Dad gave it. There we go. So basically, I got the solar and the generator, which is more powerful than the Honda. Um, there, Honda's 2200. Our our um, our um, Westinghouse that we got it is 2500. So it's a, more powerful and it works fine. It's, it's worked very well for us when we've yet had to use it. We do not do boondocking yet. Uh, that's something that may happen in the future. But so far, I'm gonna give a thumbs up to the Go Power um, system, 120 volt system. And um, again, I, I think it's doing a very good job. It's doing what I expected it to do. So. Anyway, adios. This is Marvin Huddleston, Psalm 111.2. Great are the works of the Lord, studied by all who delight in them.